welcome back to another edition of me moving around in chair. No, I'm just joking. Um, of JD's theory. Today's theory, I'm going to talk about what some people do when faced with a problem. Um, the more I'm thinking about this, the more I'm going to get <laughs> at least one person asking me if this is about them. Um, not entirely. This is about a lot of things that have hit me over recent, and I just kind of bring it um, to a conclusion, and I'm like, I should talk about this. So, one of the things that bring me to this is, um, so, a person would do one of three things when faced with a problem, in my perspective. Again, there are other perspectives, and other people have opinions, and we can have a conversation for the love of God. <laughs> um, but mine are these. Face it. Sweep it out in the rug and ignore it. Or um, focus on something else. Uh, one of them resolves the problem. And the other two just kind of push it aside. Uh, sweeping it under the rug. I like to look at it as a metaphor. Eventually you're going. it's going to overpile. Somebody's going to trip over it. And usually that's what happens. Somebody will trip over it. or And then the, it will all just come out. So, excuse me, makes a bigger deal out of what is a single problem is now many problems. And um, this business new thing, well, not really. It, governments have been doing it forever to distract from the situation. Um, that is one of the things that has led to me to have this conversation today is the president's impeachment. Um, Donald Trump is who Donald Trump is. We have not had a really great president since, like, uh, JFK. Like, and back then, the Democrats and Republicans were at each other's throat. Uh, today's government has become who can scream the loudest. Whose party is more right? Um, whose party is protecting the people? And that, that defeats the purpose of what it was. They're distracting us um, from a couple of things. One, real world... Real world issues. There's some fucking problems. We're not talking about it because we're focused on impeaching this dude. Who cares about any of that crap? None of it's been proven, first of all. Second of all, you're distracting from real problems. Him being in office has not killed this country. We have all not freaking died. But I've also realized we have done that with every president in like the last 10 years. Uh one side, the opposing side, always has to distract the American people by throwing shade at the president. It's been it's been like that. Um, Obama was thrown shade. It was the whole thing about his birth certificate. He was the freaking president of the United States. Just move the fuck on. Like, Obama didn't kill the country. Um, then we threw shade at, at George Bush for being slow. <laughs> Forget it, it's my channel. For being a fucking retard. <laughs> Um, I'm not politically correct on this channel, by the way. Not monetized anyway, so... Anyways, and then Clinton. We distracted from real world problems, but like, this dude got a blowjob in the office. You telling me a dude got a blowjob from a half-decent looking chick? <gasps> no. <laughs> like... <sighs> anyways, distracting us from problems that are going on at the time that they can't fix. People are demanding for answers, and the government cannot fix them, so they go, well, look at this shiny thing. I can't see my hand. I was over here. <laughs> um, I also, I love my sister very much, um, but she isn't doing it anymore. Um, I have to put that out there. I'm very proud of her. She's doing, according to her, doing very well. Um, but she, alike with a lot of Americans and a lot of people, hide their problems by doing drugs. They um, cope and they self-medicate and then it becomes a problem. <clears throat> now they got that problem on top of their original problem. Um, I, knew, I wasn't an advocate of um, therapy and all that stuff, but I am now. I think it's great. I see what it is done. I've been to therapy. I went to couple, couples counseling. I think it's great. I think it's a good idea. I think 
you're listening to me to now. Listening to me now. Here's something. <laughs> uh, don't charge. Anyways. <laughs> so, um, yes, please speak to somebody. Ah, they help. Now, with this distracting thing, um, you can get called up and focused all your energy on something else because you do not. One of two things. You don't want to deal with the problem at hand or you don't think that you're strong enough to deal with the problem at hand. So you want to move on and you try to move on by focusing on something else. Um, I like to deal with everything. I don't take my time at anything. I am rush, rush, rush. I know where my son gets his crazy energy from. Um, doing my list and stuff today, I've missed a couple of days because the internet was out. So I'm doing like four videos today to make up for the two days. So my intensity is high. I like to get things out of the way. I like to move on to the next situation. While making sure the previous situation is dealt with 100%. Um, let's throw this in there. I'm playing a game on my phone where you wash cars. <laughs> you spray the car with a soapy, soapy, and then soapy. You spray the car with soapy, and then you hose it down. Um, but if you get like 90% of the car, 99% of the car soapy or clean, it automatically says you're done. And that's been bothering me because I can still see some dirt um, before you send me on to, to rinse it off. But that's the, the way I am. Uh, everything has to be 100. It's just my, who I am. Um, I got to deal with it. If it's a problem, I need to deal with it until it's 100% complete. And I know everything. That drives me nuts if I don't know everything. Uh, my mind will fill in the blanks. And it will do it like a hundred times. It's like a mad lib puzzle in my in my head. And we all know how those play out when you read them. So everything has to. It's kind of it's my thing. <laughs> but uh, yes, I just that is my theory. I'm not saying that any of those are necessarily wrong. Um, if you can hide things underneath your rug and then eventually comes out, if it does eventually get dealt with even though it's at a higher capacity it gets dealt with uh, distracting yourself self-medication or shiny stuff um, eventually your past will always catch up to you always and just dealing with it sometimes that's not okay sometimes that doesn't 100 percent work Sometimes you end up hurting people because you're dealing with it and you're doing it faster than they can process it. So, um, that is just JD's theory for today. <laughs> with that being said, much love, JD out. Yeah, JD not out. I, I <laughs> got on a tangent and I forgot something. I am talking to a person who cannot talk. We don't know who she can talk to. Don't know what guy she can talk to. This I find. Um, this is another thing of dealing with it. Just letting other people do it for you. Um, so actually four things. <laughs> I just. I had it. I went through all that video. I forgot it. So I was like why don't you be you. You determine who you talk to. And she said well I'll be homeless. I was like, you really going to let somebody dictate who you are just because you have to go out and get some help? Um, there are many places to get help that will help. You just have to get up and actually do it. And you can do it. You should never, ever. I know with the other ones, I said some negative things and some positive things about them. This you should never let anybody dictate your life. You should not run away from your problems by having somebody else do them for you. This one I do not agree with. It will never end well. Um, you will always be under somebody's thumb. And I preach be yourself. I preach be happy with who you are. And if you're not happy with it, not somebody else, if you're not happy with it, change it so you are happy with yourself. We get this life, you get to do whatever you want with it. Why not be happy? 
why not make the most of it? So, if that person is watching the video, they will know who they are. I'm not outing anybody. That's not who I am. Get out of there. I don't want to see something horrible happen. Now, that being said, <laughs> much love. JD, out.